this video reviews finding the equations of perpendicular lines. Now, in the first question, we have a line which is y equals 3x plus 2. Now, the line y equals 3x plus 2 has a gradient of 3. And it passes through 2 on the y-intercept, or the y-axis. Now, our new line needs to be perpendicular or at right angles and needs to pass through a different coordinate, and the coordinate is 6, 5. Now, here is the key fact about gradients and perpendicular lines. Now, the gradient of 3 means for every 1 across, we go 3 up. So that's the same as 3 over 1. Now, if a line is perpendicular, rather than go 1 across and 3 up, it now goes 3 across and 1 down. So what happens is the fraction effectively flips, but it's now going down, so it becomes negative. So the perpendicular gradient is minus a third. So that means that our new line is y equals minus a third x. But the y-intercept changes. It was plus 2. It's now a new y-intercept because we have a new coordinate, which is 6, 5. Now, this equation has got to work for the coordinate 6, 5. So if I sub x equals 6 into this equation, the answer should equal 5. Now, what this means is that if I work out minus a third times by 6, because the x-coordinate is 6, then to do this, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So a third of 6 is 2. It's negative. So this equals negative 2. But the answer is meant to be 5. So to get minus 2 back up to 5, I need to add on 7. And this is basically the y-intercept. So the equation becomes y equals minus a third x plus 7. And any coordinate on the line will satisfy that equation. The gradient is minus a third. The y-intercept is positive 7. Now, in the second example, the maths is almost identical, but the original gradient is or looks a bit more complicated. But the maths is identical. Now, for the original gradient, it was two fifths. That means that for every five across, we go two up. But to make it perpendicular, then rather than across five up two, we now go across two, but down five. So again, the gradient effectively flips or reciprocates and becomes negative. And it now passes through a new coordinate. So the y-intercept, which was plus 1, will have changed. So rather than 2 fifths as a gradient, it now becomes y equals minus 5 over 2x plus some unknown y-intercept. But the key point is, is that if I put x equals 8 into this equation, the answer or the y-coordinate needs to equal 1. So minus 5 over 2 times by 8. Now to work this out, I do 8 divided by 2 is 4, times by 5 is 20, so this is negative 20. This is not 1. To get up to 1, I must add 21. So this is actually the y-intercept. So the equation becomes y equals minus 5 over 2x plus 21. And this is the equation of the perpendicular line passing through the coordinate 8, 1.